At kaugnay sa paglantad ng asawa ni Camarines Norte Governor Edgardo Talyado, mga kapanim natin si Attorney Lorna Kapunan, abogado ni Inang Josie Talyado. Magandang umaga, Attorney Kapunan. Good morning, Attorney Howie, and Cara, nice to see you again. <laughs> so, gano'ng katagal na po kayong uh, abogado ni uh, Josie, ni Ma'am Josie uh, Talyado? I think uh, two days and several sure. hours. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, how much do you know about their relationship? Matagal na ba silang may problema? Apparently, 28 years, like all marriages, no? This was 28 years. Uh, some of them good, some of them bad. Uh, takes two to make a good marriage, no? But she being a, they, being a political family, uh, they had to endure and keep uh, the various affairs, which she, the governor always denies, no? Mm -hmm. um, secret from the public. The reason this exploded was precisely the trigger, which was an uploaded picture blamed on the wife. Uh, yes. Uploaded picture of a supposed of, mistress of, of the governor. A, of a publicly acknowledged mistress, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, publicly, publicly acknowledged. Uh, okay. the, and it was supposed to be a nude, part, a nude photo. Though. It's a nude photo and very compromising. But the sad part there is the legal wife does the hard part. She's a chairperson of the Red Cross. She's helping the governor support the various charities and work in the barangay. It's the other woman who gets to do the fun part, which is traveling with mm. with the governor, etc., etc. So, mm -hmm. uh, this has so, to pu stop. Yeah. Public yung kanilang, uh, itong kanilang pa yung partnership outside of the marriage? You, well, you know how it is in Philippine society, you know? Uh, people see but don't see. Mm. Uh, they, they know but they don't talk about it. And that precisely is... Uh, what the a battered woman has to endure. Battered woman. So, ibig sabihin, siya ay sinasaktan. Uh, no, she's not, she's not physically. In fact, mm -hmm. the reason this was the last row, eh, may nakita siyang barel, no? Mm -hmm. uh, she, he had a, he had showed a gun and was looking so, the angriest she had seen in 28 years of the marriage and, uh, by their bedside, that's why she transferred to another room, no? Lumabas siya sa master's bedroom and had holed up in the adjoining room just next to the master's bedroom because he had started to sleep with two guns on his side, no? Which... So she felt na sasaktan siya? Ganun ba? Kasi very abrupt yung usually kapag may away mag-asawa, ganyan, at uh, kunyari may, may mistress and all, uh, mag-uusap, kukuha ng abogado, at Aalis. Pero yung aalis at uh, mawawala oh. for a few days na parang iisipin ng mga tao that she was kidnapped or, or, or whatever. Yun well, na nga yung balita nung una. Kaya naging uh, medyo mm -hmm. malaking balita ito. Oh, Kasi ganun ba yung grabe yung, yung fear niya? Alam mo, it, no. ito yung tinatawag na the wonders of technology. No? It can only happen talaga in a teleserya. Ang nangyari doon, they were able to access uh, the personal website, uh, the Facebook. That's why let's be careful about Facebooks. Mm -hmm. no? The Facebook of uh, this mistress who's a 24-year-old nurse uh, in the same Capitolio building and uh, were able to access what, what these kids called PM, no? which is personal messaging. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she would conduct personal messaging with some friend of hers and outline the steps, the coming steps like the in in Tagalog no in Taglish she would say uh, papalitan lahat ng susi with and she would say with the blessings of the governor pumayag na si governor alam ni governor to ang plano ay papalitan lahat ng susi on this day may pupunta diyan na mama and on sa caravan eh caravan is some some activity they have every friday mm -hmm. where they distribute goods and medicine no and as she was messaging that it would happen scary it would happen true enough as planned pinalitan lahat ng luck so, so in ano other words they plano? were always one step ahead it came to a point where that message message said something like today's the day ngayon mangyayari that's when they had to plan their escape you can see it's very it's a very so crude plan veiled, veiled threat yon well di, wala naman sinabi uh, may gagawin na uh, na violent act no, in fact, no? it came from the governor himself, no? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you don't have to say it. Mm -hmm. 
uh, by all his actions, she knew from knowing the girl, being married to him for 28 years, that this was this was it. That this was it. And then his violent action of uh, using his gun to pound on the laptop and his mm -hmm. his cutting all the wires of the internet. This was not a normal reaction from the husband, and so she felt that it was a time. So, ang kinatatakutan ni Josie Taliado, sasaktan siya physically, kasi kahapon sa interview ko sa kanya, may isa pa siyang sinabi eh, na ang kinatatakutan daw niya, kasi mismo si Governor daw ang nagsabi sa kanya na sinira mong reputasyon yes. ng babae, sisirain din kita. That's what he said, no? Because, uh, kanya nga nag-trigger off yun, no? Because, uh, hindi lang yung mas 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 apektado pa si governor sa reputasyon ng babae kaysa sa reputasyon ng pamilya uh, which to her was very wrong because she was the legal wife she's the first lady of Camarines Norte mm -hmm. and here was the governor more concerned about the reputation of the mistress sabi mm -hmm. niya mali na ito hindi na ako mahal aalis na ako sa marriage na to okay uh, I'm sure hindi, hindi ito yung unang kasong ganito yung nahandle nyo. Mm -hmm. So ano ba yung mga options sa isang babae na sinasabi nyo nga na emotionally battered, she fears, fears for her life, nag-decision na siya na umalis na sa marriage na ito. Wala naman tayong divorce dito sa ating bansa. Oo nga. Well, first, first of all, maybe it's a good time to talk about divorce. No? I mean, the legislators who may be following this story uh, should get real because tayo lang ang bansa sa buong mundo. I mean, the last holdout was Malta that had mm. only several hundred Catholics. But the last holdout is the Philippines. Uh, let's get real. Maybe the solution to a failed marriage up after exhausting uh, trying to save the marriage is a divorce. And it should be a no-fault divorce. Right now, our annulment laws, sabi nila, there is an Article 36, yung Declaration of Nullity of Marriage. But I always say when I'm interviewed, if it talks like a duck, walks like a duck, stinks like a duck, let's call it a duck. So it is a divorce called annulment of marriage, annulment declaration of nullity of marriage. What it does, it, it requires that a molehill becomes a mountain. Mm -hmm. It has to be so grievous that the lawyers and the parties make a small issue big because otherwise the courts will not grant it. It has to be grievous. Why? It can be a no-fault marriage. I saw incidentally, I saw the uh, interview of the lawyer of the governor mm -hmm. and I perfectly agree with the attorney that this is really a domestic situation. Mm -hmm. Sadly, uh, the governor himself made it public and that's why we had to respond public. But marriages should be kept between husband and, and wife. No? And, uh, and uh, it is sad. It is sad when when the infidelity of one party has to be broadcasted, especially if there are sexual innuendos. No? Mm -hmm. Again, the reason of viral it was there was mention of a sex video and it went crazy because the public wants to see these sex videos. I understand, ma'am, uh, kayo po ay mag... Yung, si Mrs. Taliado is going to file um, a, a, a complaint against her husband na uh, domestic violence. Tama po ba? Yes. Uh, Nag-file na kami ng, ano, ng barangay protection order, which is uh, mm -hmm. an immediate remedy kasi doon hindi kailangan ng uh, mag-appear. Ang barangay protection, sa mga nakikinig, uh, hindi ka, pag binugbog ka, hindi kailangan ikaw personally mag-appear. Pwedeng informant, pwedeng kapitbahay, pwedeng mm -hmm. maid mo. Napupunta sa barangay at sasabihin yung orally, yung facts, at mag issue immediately ng barangay protection order. In fact, walang, walang ano yun, complaint yun. May form lang yun na pipirmahan lang. Pero anong klaseng protection po yun? Uh, it's a 15-day protection that you, mm -hmm. that you get. It's very temporary. Uh, but it is only as good as the paper it's written on. No? Protection by who? Mga barangay tanod? Or the police mismo? Ang, uh, uh, it requires, uh, ang, when it's a protection order, it orders uh, the defendant or the, the other party. No? And the other party here is always male. Kasi ang protection order, para sa babae lang yan, sa, saka sa anak. It protects women and children who in law, are the more uh, are the parties requiring protection? Hindi ka pwedeng uh, high hand pick. Binugbog na ang asawa.
Mm -hmm. uh, nalalaki at kukuha ka ng protection order. Hindi, ang tawag doon gago kung nagpapabukbuk ka, di ba? <laughs> so, uh, anyway. so, 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 moving on, uh, what's next for Mrs. Taliado after to this barangay protection order? No, what is next is, uh, our wish here is that uh, whoever is listening, the lawyer or maybe the governor himself or Secretary Marrojas, uh, takes this, takes the cudgels for keeping this private, uh, if he can, if he can provide a safe haven for them to talk outside media, then we would welcome it. Mm -hmm. It is not a case that we want to go on for years because there is a child involved. He's 27 years old. He feels alienated from the nana, you know. So, uh, what you mentioned, the uh, Secretary Maro, has ano bang involvement ng uh, gobyerno rito at ng uh, kalihim ng uh, ng cabinet? Apparently, based on the Jario, nagtawag, nag-create si Secretary Mar as a local government and as head of PNP, a national man-wide, woman-wide hunt uh, for, uh, um, for, your client. for our client who, based on the information provided by the government, eh, isang kidnapping victim. Na, okay. So, naging uh, nationwide hunt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, pero well, she's been found, so hindi na ano yan. It's oh. already moot. Wala na, wala na siyang dapat involvement dito. Uh, ang kailangan natin ay protection. No? Because uh, mm. uh, uh, ang feeling niya, ang feeling niya ay bayad lahat. Sa probinsya, ang feeling niya, no? this is uh, hearsay, but ang feeling niya ay nabayaran, nabayaran ng police, nabayaran ng local government uh, unit na doon, yung mga empleyado doon na, na they're all spying on her, they're all... And she doesn't trust the NBI. She doesn't okay. trust anybody. So it's not. Hindi sa pat yung barangay uh, protection order. Kailangan pa ng uh, itong pr uh, protection na pwedeng iprovide ni DILG Secretary Rojas. Yung ba yung sabi niyo? We're saying that, you know, we're saying that versus a person, a husband who not only has uh, gender in his favor, no, but he has power, he has money, he has resources, versus this this woman who escaped with just her clothes on. Parang we have to level the playing field, so we're calling on the kind secretary, and there are fillers along that way. All right. Maraming salamat po, Attorney Lorna Kapunan, abogado ni Josie Taliado, ang misis po ni Camarines Norte, Governor Edgardo Taliado. Sinubukan din po namin makapanayam mismo si Governor Taliado, pero hindi po siya sumasagot sa aming mga tawag.